morning, my dear students. I am teacher Marianne. Welcome to Science 9 Tutorials, where learning is made easy and fun. I love how the sun arises from the east this morning. Suddenly, it turns cloudy, and unexpectedly, it rains. Is this scenario an example of a weather or climate? Let's check. The answer is weather. How about people living in Canada experiencing snow during the winter and expect magnificent autumn from September to November? Is it a weather or a climate? The answer is climate. You're doing well. By the end of the lesson, you are expected to describe the different factors that affect climate, explain how different factors affect the climate of an area, and appreciate the importance of the factors affecting climate of an area, which can be applied in daily let us differentiate weather from climate. Weather is a short-term variation in the atmosphere, while climate is a weather condition over a long period of time. Let's elaborate further. The Philippines is located just relative to the equator, hence we expect a tropical climate. Using temperature and rainfall as basis, the climate of the country can be divided into two major seasons, rainy seasons from June to November and dry season from December to May. Image shows expected average rainfall based on years of observation. This is the expected climate because this data was observed for almost 30 years. Observed rainfall is the actual rainfall from April 1st to April 18th. Since this observed in a short period of time, this is an example of a weather, as it might not rain at all next week, next month, or next year. And last image will assess the amount of rainfall in a certain time of days. The Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Service Administration, or known as PAGASA, monitors the weather and to be far more reliable during all phases of disaster, we receive text messages for orange rainfall as a sign of alert from citizens. In general, there are factors affecting climate, namely latitude, altitude, bodies of water, topography, and ocean current. Latitude refers to the angular distance of a place north or south of the Earth's equator. Places located at high latitudes far from the equator receive less sunlight than places at low latitudes close to the equator. Great factor of the distribution of sunlight is the shape and tilt of the Earth. Let us take a closer look. The farther away from the equator, the colder the climate becomes. And since the Earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees, this results to some countries experiencing four seasons or two. The tilt also affects the daily amount of light. This explains why Philippines has only dry and rainy season, as it receives direct sunlight due to its location and the other places on Earth experiences the four seasons, namely spring, summer, autumn, and winter, while North and South Pole experiences extreme cold. Altitude refers to the height or elevation above sea level. As the altitude increases, the air temperature decreases. The altitude of the place will affect the climate. As what you can see, the temperature of Miami, Florida is at 15 degrees Celsius. However, 
as the location is far above sea level, temperature decreases. If you notice, the temperature of Mount Everest is at negative 43 degrees Celsius. Have you ever wondered why people visited Baguio even in summer? It is because of altitude that best explain why Baguio is cold even during summer. Bodies of water. The climate of a place is influenced by the surrounding bodies of water. The slow absorption and release of heat by the body of water greatly affect the climate. Hence, areas that are near oceans have moderate climate as the body of water regulates the temperature. Places that are far from the bodies of water have extreme climates, as there are no immediate bodies of water that will help to circulate the movement of cold and warm air. Topography is the study of forms and features of land. The topography of an area can influence the climate. One of the topographic features of land is the mountain. A mountain has two sides, windward and leeward sides. Mountains greatly affect the amount of rain or precipitation in a certain place. There is an area in which wind blows is called windward side. Here, the wind is blocked by the mountain, forcing it to move upward. As it moves up, the water vapor condenses and forms clouds. This will make in rain on the windward side. On the other side of the mountain is the leeward side, in which the air moves down to the opposite side. The low temperature air mass starts to absorb heat and becomes warm and dry. The location near the leeward side becomes dry and has less rain or precipitation. The dry region on this mountain side is known as the rain shadow. Vegetation such as desert, plants, and grassland are common in this area. The last factor affecting climate is ocean current. Ocean currents act much like a conveyor belt. It regulates global climate, helping to counteract the uneven distribution of solar radiation reaching Earth's surface. Without currents in the ocean, regional temperatures would be more extreme, super hot at the equator, and frigid towards the poles. Let us take a look at this ocean current. Red arrow means that the ocean current is bringing hot water towards the pole, while blue arrow indicates that an ocean current is bringing cold water towards the equator. In this case, the Kurushu and Oyashu current exert a strong influence on Japan's climate. The Kurushu current flows north from the tropics, bringing heat from the climate zone that warms the winds blowing into southern Japan, while Oyashu currents hold water flow south from Russia's Kamchatka Straits to Hokkaido's eastern coast, cooling the winds that blow into Japan's northern regions from the Kamchatka Peninsula. Therefore, ocean currents that bring along cold water inland make the climate cold, while on the other hand, ocean currents that take along warm water to coastal areas make the climate 